Hello everyone. So today we are going to work uh, implement an outlining system when these characters are behind some object. So as you just saw here, when this character go behind this wall, you see an outline in a color blue because the color of this team or this player is blue. So that's why we see a blue outline. Similarly, for this player, you see there is a green outline so because this character this player's color is green see it dynamically appears and disappears as the characters get blocked by other objects and similar to that this player has the color red and here is the demonstration so right that's what we are going to work on today. So in this video, we worked on um, how to have different colored outlines for different characters. So I am going to uh, import that material into our strategy template project. I have already imported that. Here is the code. So we have two colors for outlines and we can change it using the stencil values. So in order to use that, we have to have a post-process uh, volume and we already have one. And let's add a post-process material using an asset reference. The drag and drop it here. So if you don't know how to create this material, you can refer to this video. I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, now that I have the post process material, still I don't see any outline effect. That's because we haven't enabled to render in custom depth here we can enable that once we enable that we do get an outline and it's green but I don't think I am. now when I make it two, it becomes red if I leave it as zero it is green so we have the two colors here and in order to use that effect we have to use this custom depth stencil path pass enabled with stencil so we need to have this option selected under post processing in order to use this effect so now the problem is well since this is a multiplayer game we need to have uh, one color that outlines our characters and another color that outlines enemy characters so that's why I plan to have two colors so by extending the same method you can have multiple different colors more than two but I only need one I only need two colors so I'm not gonna extend the material to support any more colors so yeah First thing I want to solve is when we directly see the characters for example here I already see an outline which is not required I only need to see an outline when we see the characters through some object that means in a situation like If we, if we can't really go to an angle because we are looking at in a high level but oh wait we can we can just move the characters to a different location so here if I move the character over here see now we don't see the character in this case we need to see the character with the outline so first thing I want to do is we need to enable the outline when the character is behind some object. 
all right first I manually set the color here so let me undo that and go to the blueprint top down character here for the mesh um, custom depth I'm not going to enable uh, render custom depth pass or oh, we have to enable it in order to change the value so I set to 2 here sorry this is the blue character so I set it to 0 and so here we see green I need to have some blue outline so this one yeah, too good. Okay, like this. Okay, um, for this guy, we need zero. For the red characters, we need open the full blueprint editor, go to mesh. Custom for them we need red that means custom depth stencil value 2. Okay, see now here we see blue and here red. Okay, so yeah, as I said, as you can see, we see the outline all the time. That's not required. We only need to see the outline only when these characters are behind something. So, uh, let me disable this option by default. Right, to now determine if the if some character is behind a wall or in a place that we can't see, we can do something like uh, we can do a uh, Try, we can try doing a line trace and see if anything is hit and also it's not required to do that if the character is already out of the screen for example consider this one and if I look at this way the character is already out of the screen so I don't need to do a line trace so we can save the performance right so how can we do that let's add a function here check uh, visibility check player visibility right so here uh, we have a function called first recently rendered post component recently rendered so um, I want to check if the mesh is recently rendered that this will return true if the mesh is in the viewport regardless of uh, where it is in the order that means even if if we consider this actor this mesh even if it is blocked by some other object was recently rendered will return true because it's in the inside the camera's viewport so if only if this is true we need to do a line trace so line trace by channel i'll use the visibility and as the starting point i'll use get that location and as ten point get the uh, controller and get control oh wait how do we get the camera location get camera manager get camera location 
location right that's the end and if this hits something that means something is in the middle so uh, no we don't really need to have a branch we can rewrite if this is true that means we need to render the outline so that means get the mesh set uh, custom set render custom depth pass should be true if something is blocking if something is not blocking this has to be false right okay now to test the function we can simply call this check player visibility on the tick but tick is called every frame so which i don't think necessary for this purpose so let's have a timer in the begin play that's the begin play don't we have off oh, here Uh, timer by function name set timer by function name function name is check player visibility so it would be enough to see check this maybe every point three seconds i'm not really sure let's see so that should be enough now to test this yeah let's move this guy see when the guy was behind going behind this wall we had the outline like that okay let's okay right see now we get the outline and dot so you only see the outline when the character is blocked with something and let's check for this other player as well so let's go to an angle like this and move this guy over here see we get the red outline for this character for these characters we get blue outline so this is the red player this is the blue player okay so this is what uh, i want to do today well here i'm not really planning to have more than two players but well just in case you're wondering how to add another color we can have something like this here uh, this survey yeah. and another if this if should also go here and if this if is If this value is larger than say three so here if a is smaller than three we should get this color if a is larger than three let's have another color I rename it color three and I'll use blue green we already have blue you see it here and connect this one over here right now so we already have red and blue characters so if I team one but just to demonstrate the effect here yeah. oh, 
I have an ability called shares. If I now change these characters. custom depth value to 4 see now I get a green outline but we don't need that because we need to keep the default values Wait. so that's how you have you add an additional color and similar to these characters you would need another team character another character with a different team so here, what's the team? Yeah, team is one. So you would need a character with team number two and have another player that can control the characters with team number two, a two at team number two, and they will have the blue outline. Mm, hope that is clear. If not, just leave a comment. I'll try to reply and explain further perhaps in another tutorial if it is required. Alright, so thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.